Hey, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. Still going through our traditional Bioware exposition dump. We must learn everything about everyone. We must learn all! And uh, who is our next subject that we need to learn from? It's this guy. this guy. Talk to me. Talk to me. Our Solarian friend. Yes. You must be the Pathfinder. Yep. How does everyone know what I look like? Uh, is it the hair? It's kind of the hair. Professor Herrick, my colleagues and I will. You're giving her the hair is the only thing that actually makes sense then over this whole entire thing. Everyone just gets to look at me. You must be the Pathfinder. How would you know that? Actually, this place probably isn't that huge. Point where someone new might actually stick out. Sure. But to immediately assume they are the Pathfinder? Yeah. Is Korra going around and immediately getting assumed that she's the Pathfinder? No, they might all oh, she means she's a lesbian. Mm. The hair. It is the hair. See, hair makes a lot of difference in this universe. Yes, you know, our, our hair all, all aliens preconceive everything based <laughs> off hair. Uh, I didn't hear a single word this No, I, I missed all that. <laughs> Kyle, what do you think you're doing? I don't care about any of that. We'll, we'll go back, and if it was important, they'll probably reiterate it, this, reiterate it again. And yeah, tiny yeah. ass little words that I am not going to read. I do, you know, back to the hair thing, though. I, I do remember the time that the great uh, Krogan Solarian peace treaty was signed based off of a nice weave. Mm. Uh, it, was a, it was a great political moment. <laughs> Uh, great, great work for that stylist. Really, really helped him out. Until he got, you know, crushed by a Krogan. Mm -hmm. Man, that would be hilarious if a stylist won, like, a Nobel Peace Prize <laughs> <laughs> for negotiating. Look <laughs> at that weave. That is just a fantastic ass I actually weave. don't remember how we came to the negotiation, the treaty, and how we found this deal. All I remember was that fantastic hair. Help you. Help me? Pathfinder Rider. Here to see Pathfinder Rider. Pathfinder Rider. Ah. It's fun. A murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Well, Milka, you're moving no one wants their husband to be known as the, the first murderer of a new galaxy. The Pathfinder, huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Mm, not yet. I'm not here to exile you. Told your wife I'd look into things. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Why don't you tell me what happened? I feel like we'd be able to supersede that in some fashion. Set up a colony on Eos. <laughs> we were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles. Our leader dead. Wait, Security Eos is the place we're going. They have tried setting colonies up there before. He refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. Okay. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the cat, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. A witness saw the chief's chest explode. <laughs> okay. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them, but I was enraged when we argued. There is a recording. It's, it's ugly. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. Well... Honestly, if they're in a fucking tear yeah. place where they're being surrounded and there's a sandstorm, mm. I'd probably be like, yeah, I shot the guy, because otherwise he'd be dead. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. Oh, we can find more evidence than just your story, dude, because yeah. I don't think that's going to hold up. No. Alright, back to Kandros then. I mean, I'm not saying that <laughs> you're, gu you're guilty or anything, but I can see why they might find you guilty. Yeah. This console reports on the malicious current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Kandros for authorization to participate. All right. Do that too. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex combat experts who've signed up. To oh, so we basically need to sign up to this join Apex. A view of the cluster. Yes. I can give you authority to dispatch them. Oh no, it's a mini thing, a mini game sort yeah. of thing where we send people to do uh... I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there. Alright. Got a minigame. Neat. How do we do it? Is that the the map or whatever? Yeah, I think so. No news on the Turian arc yet. Or is this militia business? It's murder. We gotta do we gotta discuss a, a murder case. The man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. Wow, that's really uh, stuck. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. 
Doesn't seem right to put all that on him. Of course it isn't, but that's the perception. Fair. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying. What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness Cassidy Shaw works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you cue it up on the console. Okay, well, unless it literally says, like, I will kill you if we don't get out of here, I think that's a stretch. It might say something like, you know, you get mad and you'll say, I'll kill yeah. you, but... Me both, Pathfinder. Unless it, well, it could literally say, like, I will kill... If we get in a sandstorm and there's any shadow <laughs> of doubt, I will murder you and blame it on somebody else. Yeah, there you go. Kind of. That's really specific. Why would you threaten me with that? No reason. You just stand over there for a minute. Oh shit, is that recording? How did I turn that off? This sees the compound. Call for evacuation. We're not giving up, Nelkin. We're taking it back. No, I'm not letting your ego get us killed. Even if I have to. Yeah. Woo! A little damning. How did they ever suspect you? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oh, right. There's tons of other things to talk to up here, though. So many people to talk to. So many different symbols. I know. I don't even know what half of them mean. That one E thing of shops of some kind? I think that there was a shop, so that's entirely possible. And I don't know who you are. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. I don't know who that is. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny. Oh, this thing, uh, when we walked by, this but thing exploded. Taking. I thought it was a, just part of the animation or ah. something. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Paranoid? You know mm. what they say. It's not paranoia. If someone is out to get to you, yeah. Third time this week. Yeah, that's... It's getting worse. That's... A little less than paranoia, then. Stuff. This one could have hurt bad if I'd been closer. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. <laughs> yeah. And now I have more repairs. Oh, I do kind of like our sarcastic rider. <laughs> seriously hurt. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm an engineer, not a BI. I've scanned we all the can probably with that hat. What do you think? think of. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know Pathfinder, I also uh, MacGyver, like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. head detective, yeah. Yeah, I guess. private yeah. investigator, Wait, murder solver. That's it. We're also not a bad cook. Be yeah. in this. And a fashionista. You here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time, maybe you could help me. We are helping everybody. Sure thing. What can I do? And you do not even know how helpful we can be. We would help you if you said you didn't want help. That's how helpful we are. Just send me the data when you're done. All right, so many mini missions with mini little text that I cannot read. Well, it is basically like the opening on the Citadel. Remember the first game? Yeah. All those mini side shit. I just feel like that's been such a long time since I had all those memorized where I could just like. F oh, there's a friend. Like we haven't slept with a consort yet, but he might be around, yeah. or or she might be around. I'm sure they're around How somewhere. long will he stare at that risk communicator? He's, I must know. He's just determined. All right, what happened? To who? To what? To whom? And your goddamn father. <laughs> Excuse me. This is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Well, I want to know what happened with your makeup this morning, okay? She said her face was tired. What Burn. Pathfinder. Fuck you. I don't want to get into it. Yeah, I, I have no wrong. obligation to you whatsoever. And now Fuck I'm off. I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home. Yeah, well, you go shoot a storm and then we'll talk. <laughs> Not home. The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. There's also this strange technology. Has anyone studied that? <laughs> We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. We must have some sorry archaeologists. I mean, I'm sure I'm stereotyping, but... Jesus Christ, this woman has deaf eyes. Her dead eyes? 
Okay, We've mostly avoided for the most of this game, I, I was hearing about the weird facial animations, and I was like, I don't know, they, they seem to be pretty fine with me. This chick is weird looking, yeah. okay? How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement. Their eyes just move They're not the way too much. Is currently less than ideal. She, it's like she's not looking at us, she's looking Let's through turn. us. It is me. weird. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital she's trying to look into and blacken my soul. <laughs> and here we are. It's like, mm, that looks tasty. You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? So you're a fangirl. I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. Ooh. I was not asking that. No. I was weird. I that's actually a pretty title. big no jump. A pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. Yeah. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. Really? I would have actually assumed that going into a brand new galaxy I've never been to before. Bacteria. Sorry. 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Talk to it's poetry level bad. He's unfortunately become the head of our military. And as soon as he realizes it, we're in the shit. You don't trust him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. Yeah, well, that actually is not the, the best not thing. Really. Yeah, she, she has a point oh, there. Goddamn poetry. You've had no colony successes in over a year? How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The scourge, spoiled worlds, exiles, hostiles. We They've can't been busy. just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. And if it had? Beautiful, utopian horseshit. <laughs> Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel. Not headed by Tan. Or even me. By what, a council? <laughs> I do agree that the uh, ideal situation would have you not Excuse in power. Me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. Wow! If we don't get a All right, then. to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. All right, I've been trying to go be quiet, but, um... It's not necessarily her eyes, it's that she doesn't have eyelids for most of it. Yeah, That's, like, especially the bottom eyelids. A couple of uh, blinks, a couple of blinks couldn't have hurt. A couple of blinks might have helped it out. Yeah, that's really creepy. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. Oh, it was the, the person to investigate. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yep. Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Hmm. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the chief. He looked wide at Nilkin and shouted, No. No! Don't you do it. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. Alright. Did you see any cat in the vicinity? Nilkin said so, but not that I could see. Still, the sandstorm was severe. Visibility wasn't great. Alright. Did Nilkin seem remorseful? Like, she said that she didn't see any, but at least she was admitting that I might have missed them. <laughs> he looked nauseated. Could have been guilt. The reality of the act sinking in. This is really some not looking good for this guy, though. No, like, I guess in a all reality there's a possibility he didn't do it, but like... Do you agree with that? It wasn't my place to agree or disagree. He was ranking officer. In retrospect, it is ironic. If he hadn't been killed, we all probably would have died. Yeah, sure seems to be uh, quite a coincidence. Mm -hmm. If they'd fought and Nilkin threatened to kill him, why was Reynolds surprised? Fronts fight, say things they don't mean, maybe even hurt each other. Nilkin's gonna kill you. Man, isn't it isn't great? To me, that's the saddest part. The chief's heart was broken right before it exploded. Oh, boy. Wow, why is everyone so up with their poetry right? Right? in fucking galaxy, yeah, man? Information. Of course. It kills me we had to leave him behind. He deserved a proper funeral. So the body was never examined? Important piece of a murder investigation. Tan wouldn't allow a mission to go back for him. Said it was too dangerous. Well, 
We know we're going next. Uh, I guess we gotta go off world to solve this little mystery. Uh, where was Tan again? I don't remember. Too many fucking people. I barely remember who Tan is. Uh, Tan was the Solarium? I don't remember. Yeah, you might be right. I don't know. He was a slayer, and I think he's down uh, past the, the door, but... Past this door? Uh, I think it was the door actually on the right. Uh, I think the Turian military commander's up there. Just, like, is there actually names here? Task, you know, next to speak with Kesh. Well, let's go do that, I guess. This way? I really wish they had a fucking mini-map. Compass thing is not as useful. Oh, are you uh you, you getting on the mini map train with me? Well, uh, this compass thing is not useful. No, this compass th compass thing is kind of bullshit. It's like it's in this general vicinity. Yeah, but there's multiple levels, so fuck off. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. Um, well, I want to punch a few people, but us power, my team and I can get more work done. I noticed there aren't a lot of croaking around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Number eight? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. They got exiled, didn't they? This much. When the mutiny happened, a yep. deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return get more say in the initiative. And that didn't <sighs> happen? Shocking. The Krogan get treated the same here as they do in yeah. the universe. Fucked over by Solarians oh, again. Eight. Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda <laughs> initiative. Eighth? I like to it's been a year! Now and then. Keep him humble. Jeez. Jeez, things went really the bad really fast. The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first uh, place. Fuck them. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Actually, good on you. I mean, honestly. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Hmm. Some sort of liaison, ambassador sort of thing? I don't know. What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. <laughs> There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. <laughs> of course. What happened to Gian Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get materials soon, things will go downhill. Fast. What was this, what was this plan for this place if we didn't show up? Like I don't know. Apparently, they were just going to waiting die? for one of the arcs. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survived. Yeah. So any Krogan that came with us here, if they, no unless they have a big a population pool, they're just a dying breed. Mm -hmm. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Salarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Salarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. There's a lot of blame to go around here. The past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. Hmm. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. There you go. So you right around it. 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. Still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%. <laughs> oh God, Damn! Better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. 
Yeah, so one of what, 950? <laughs> Shit. Well, get boning, guys. What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. That's impressive. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Nothing more for now. Later. All right. Well, uh, after that lovely conversation with Kesh, I think we we called a uh, a day for this this UGO Let's Plays. Join us next time as we talk to more depressing people. I guess because I'm that gonna seems go cut that, myself now. That seems to be the trend. God damn. But anyway, uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And if you're interested in checking out some of our other content, why not check out the UGO podcast on iTunes or at our webpage, unapologeticgeekout.com. And again, thanks for watching.